whereas which graphs below contain an Euler path, which graphs below contain an Euler circuit. Recall that an Euler path is a walk through a graph which uses every edge exactly once. A graph has an Euler path if and only if there are most two vertices with odd degree. An Euler circuit is a walk through a graph which starts and ends at the same vertex and uses every edge exactly once. This means an Euler circuit is an Euler path that starts and ends at the same vertex. A graph has an Euler circuit if and only if the degree of every vertex is even. We are first given the graph of k sub four. k sub four is the complete graph on four vertices. Let's go ahead and sketch the graph. Every pair of vertices is adjacent. Here's the graph of k sub four. Notice each vertex has degree three. In general, every vertex of k sub n has degree n minus one. In this case, we have four vertices with an odd degree. This does not satisfy the condition for an Euler path where at most two vertices have an odd degree, which indicates k sub four does not have an Euler path and also doesn't have an Euler circuit. We list k sub four under neither. Next we have k sub five, which is a complete graph on five vertices which indicates each vertex will have degree four. But let's go ahead and sketch the graph anyway. K sub five is a complete graph on five vertices. Again, checking the vertices just to be sure, each vertex has degree four. Because all vertices have an even degree, K sub five has an Euler path and an Euler circuit. We list K sub five under both Euler path and Euler circuit. Next we have the complete bipartite graph K sub three comma five, which again is a complete bipartite graph with sets of three and five vertices. Let's let the first row have three vertices, and the second row have five vertices. Because we have a complete bipartite graph, each of the three vertices in the top row are adjacent to the five vertices in the second row. And because all the vertices in the top row are adjacent to the five vertices in the bottom row, the vertices in the top row have degree five. And because the five vertices in the bottom row are adjacent to the three vertices in the top row, all the vertices in the bottom row have degree three. All the vertices have an odd degree. The graph does not have an Euler path and also does not have an Euler circuit. We list k sub three comma five under neither. Next we have the complete bipartite graph k sub two comma three, where we have two vertices in the first row and three vertices in the second row. And again, every vertex in the top row is adjacent to every vertex in the bottom row. Notice this indicates the two vertices in the top row have degree three, the three vertices in the bottom row have degree two. Because we have two vertices with an odd degree and three with an even degree, it does meet the condition for an Euler path because at most two vertices have an odd degree. However, it doesn't have an Euler path. K sub two comma three has an Euler path, but not an Euler circuit. We only list K sub two comma three under Euler path. Next we have the graph C sub five, which is the cycle on n vertices, just one big loop. Well, if we have one big loop, we shouldn't have to determine the degrees we should easily be able to determine that it is possible to walk through the graph and use every edge exactly once, and also to start and end at the same vertex. But again, if we did check the degrees, notice all the degrees of the vertices are two, or they are all even, which of course indicates C sub five has an Euler path and an Euler circuit. We list C sub five under Euler path, as well as under Euler circuit. The last graph is P sub four. In general, P sub n is the path on n plus one vertices, so n edges, just one long path. So again, the graph of P sub four is one long path 
with five vertices and four edges, which could look something like this. Again, even without checking the degrees, you should be able to recognize the graph will have an Euler path, but not an Euler circuit. If we do check the degrees, we have degree one, degree two, degree two, degree two, and degree one. There are two vertices with an odd degree and three with an even degree. So at most two vertices do have an odd degree. The graph has an Euler path, but no Euler circuit. We list P sub four under Euler path, but not Euler circuit. I hope you found this helpful.